Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to draw a pyramid in AutoCAD. Uh, to do this, we're going to need to go into the isometric view plane. Again, this is a basic shape, and the lesson will be pretty short and easy. So with that, let's get into it. All right, real quick, before we get started, be sure to subscribe below. If you liked the video or found it helpful, give it a like below. If you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section. And if you want to keep me caffeinated and strung out, you can buy me a coffee below as well. All right, so before we create the pyramid, what we need to do is turn the plane into an isometric viewpoint. So to do that, we're going to come down here, and we actually want to draw the pyramid with the ISO plane top. So this turns this viewport into a uh, top view ISO uh, drawing. And then once we're in that, we also want to make sure our polar tracking is on. So I have mine set to 30, 60, 90, and that allows me to uh, create lines that are in sync with the isometric view plane. So we're going to come up here to start, and we are going to create a square base. You can either do that with the line button or the rectangle button. I prefer to use the line, even though I know the rectangle can be quicker, but we're going to create a 10 inch by 10 inch square. And as you can see, it's tracking. That's that, that green line you see is the polar tracking that I have turned on. So we're going to add 10 inches here and 10 inches here. So we've got the square base. Now we're going to find the center point, and I actually have the snap mode on to midpoint. And we're going to come down since we turned, or we used five or ten inches, excuse me. We used ten inches for the side. We're going to do half of that, which is five inches. And then we are actually just going to come up ten inches. All right. Now that we have our midpoint and our base uh, point going up ten inches, we can then connect all of the other points to the top point. So we're going to come here, we're going to take this side, we're going to go up here. We are then going to erase this line. We are going to come to this point, come down, and then come over here to this point again, the third one. And your triangle, excuse me, your pyramid is complete. Now, we still have those interior hidden lines, so we are going to come here to the trim button, and we are going to erase them. You can also use just the delete button, but trim button works uh, in most cases. Plus we want to use the trim button for isometric viewings and drawings because it makes a little bit more sense when um, you have more difficult drawings where you don't want to delete the whole line. You want to delete just little bits of it. So there you have the pyramid. All right, so real quick, the last thing I want to go over is uh, creating a pyramid on a different plane. And we're going to switch over right now to the left ISO plane. And as you can see, the pyramid really doesn't fit in well. It doesn't make sense. It's kind of on the wrong plane. It was drawn on the wrong plane. You can actually take this pyramid, instead of redrawing it on the new plane, you can rotate it as long as the polar tracking's on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the entire pyramid, and then we are just going to rotate it. And we'll rotate it from this corner. And as you can see, since the polar tracking is on here, we're going to have it at 120 degrees you can now rotate it to the uh, correct plane. So now it's in the left plane. And then if you were to add anything on the back end of it, you could do that as well. So we'll just add another 10 inch cube on the back or the base of it. And since the polar, tra polar tracking is on, we're good. We're gonna come right there. And then we're gonna do another line right here, 10 inches inches. As you can see, you now have a cube on the back of that pyramid in the left-hand plane. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully it was helpful. Again, kind of a beginner and basic lesson, and hopefully it was quick enough, but that's, you know, pretty much the basics of how to draw a pyramid. So that being said, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day, and thanks for watching.